Mm -hmm. Grandpa, just tell us, when did you start working with the archives and what made you to work with uh, photographs and the archives? Uh, first, I was with CDC Films Unit, where we did photography and uh, local film production. It was from there that government took me over to open the information of the Southern Cameroon. Mm -hmm. This department was under the deputy commissioner. Mm -hmm. And there I realized that it was necessary to keep photographs together. Fortunately, the archives was opened in 1960 by Mr. Adner and the wife Shelley, mm -hmm. F.O.C. Adner, who even after the death of the husband had been very interested to keep the archives alive and that is why there was the uh, formation of the uh, Association of Friends of Archives and Antiquities of Cameroon. This association was to safeguard the archives, keep it alive, it was dying off. We persuaded governments to help and this is where we were. Okay, and okay. in 1960, it was the start, mm -hmm. where the materials were got from the old secretariat and so on to build up the, what you see today as the National Archives of Boya. Okay. Now, considering that at that time, it was a time that there was a lot of political tension in Cameroon, what difficulties did you go through taking pictures and, you know, storing them? In news coverage, you look at news as news. You don't look at it supporting one side or the other. You represent what is newsy. Mm -hmm. For example, even when Southern Cameroon wanted the uh, Kwashi region, Dr. Endeli and the Bakweris went on the strike. They wrote, Phil must go because they were a pressure group and they had what they wanted and you, you took the pictures as a pressman you take what you consider news mm -hmm. and it will be used that is how I did my work okay it seems like photographs the archives has a special place in your heart yes you share this place with us yes because most of the pictures I had took in the photographic section are in the archives because the archives will work like a team for what was newsy to be kept in the archives. Mm -hmm. So the archives is a storehouse of knowledge of things that happened yesteryears, mm -hmm. which are reflected today. Okay, we are thanking God that you are alive at this age today. What would you tell the government to do in order to promote archives in Cameroon and to conserve the material that we have inside there? There were only two national archives, Yaoundé and Boya. After independence, the image of the archives of Boya diminished to almost extinction. Mm -hmm. I'm praying and blessing that the yesterday of the archives be returned. A national archives get someone of respect Responsible, as responsible as possible, who can persuade services, organizations, individuals, instead of throwing away their material, let them forward them to the archives to go posterity. Like Kalangier bequeathed his archives in the, uh, 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 I mean, his uh, uh, findings in the archives. If we did like this, governmental records will not be lost because they will be available in the archives okay. for tomorrow, especially maps between villages and so on. There's a lot that should be kept so that when there's a dispute, they walk to the archives okay. and get the, the authentic thing. Yeah. Okay, you just point out, the producers just pointed out that when there are issues, they should get back to the archives and get the real facts there. Cameroon's 50th anniversary of reunification, we just celebrated it. Some people have been complaining that it is not real. 
Do you think the pictures that are in, in the archives are different from what we are celebrating? Are they celebrating what is actually real? It's difficult to say precisely. But if they were taken from the archives, then they would be the same. Mm -hmm. For example, when we went to Fumban, we took pictures of Fumban. You have seen them displayed here. Exactly. How nice it is to see our brothers. We brought that from Fumban, and uh, it is being used. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, and um, we pray that God keeps you to give uh, us this knowledge. I'm grateful need. to you. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah.